Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free QuickBooks Online training video. In this tutorial, I'm going to go through the basics of classes, what classes is, how to use classes on QuickBooks Online. Basically, classes is a feature that segregates accounting information or financial data into separate areas of the business. So you can track sales, expenses, profit or loss, any of those things or all of those things in different areas of the business. This will make more sense as it goes on, but classes is really to help you see how the business is performing by department, by geographical area, by employee, that sort of thing. The first thing you need to do is go to the gear cog icon at the top right of QuickBooks, go to account and settings, go to advanced, because we need to make sure that classes has been enabled so under categories there should be track classes and make sure that is on if it's not on put it on there are some other features here when you enable track classes such as warn me when a transaction isn't assigned a class totally optional if you tick this then if you enter a transaction and don't assign a class you'll receive a warning a great feature if every transaction has to be assigned a class if you're only assigning specific transactions to a class, then tick this off. Otherwise, you're going to get warning after warning every time you enter a transaction. And then there's another option down here, which is quite advanced. But it's, do you want to assign classes by transaction or by each transaction row? So have a look at that. Choose what you want. Click Save. The main point of this, though, is to make sure that classes is enabled. If it's switched on then what's going to happen is every time you record a transaction, a sale, an expense, there's going to be an option to assign a class. So let me show you this. If we go to bill, so we would record a supplier's invoice just like we normally would. You can see at the end here we have this class column now showing. You would simply choose the class that the transaction relates to and save that. The transaction will be recorded just like it normally is, but also assigned to a class. Now, how do you access your classes and edit the classes, add classes to QuickBooks Online? It's actually quite hidden away. So if we go to the gear cog icon at the top right again, go to all lists, there is an area here for classes. If we click on that, this will display our classes. So I have geographical classes set up. There's two, there's north and south. These are purely just an example. So it could be that you want to divide your national sales or national expenses between the north and south of the country that the business is operating in. Alternatively, if you have an international business, you might want to have a different class per country or geographical area you could do the UK and international sales or national sales international sales or UK US Europe Canada you can create these classes per country it could also be that you want to track sales generated by employees so it could be used classes to track the sales of all the different sales reps so you could do have Jim and Bob and Sarah these are now showing as classes with Jim with Sarah with Bob up here and that way you can track sales or expenses by employee or by sales rep and the way I'm adding these classes is simply going to new at the top right here and putting the information in it could also be that you want to track classes by shops so if you have a number of shops if you're in the retail business you could have a separate class for each shop and then you can break down profitability per shop or if you're in websites by websites it could also be that you track classes by departments so if you have a sales department an accounting department a production line lots of ideas I'm throwing out you can be as creative as you like but the idea of classes is really to segregate financial information into these classes and then see the the overall profit or loss or sales and expenses generated um, by those different classes okay so let's just add a couple more transactions we did a bill you know you can do an expense once again you'd record an expense just like you normally would 
but there's an option here for a class. Let's just put anything in here. It doesn't really matter. It's purely an example. Let's do 87853, and we can assign this to Sarah. It's the same with sales. So if we go to sample customer and do a sales receipt, when we do a sales receipt, there is an option at the end, blah, 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 blah. 15 pound to assign a class here. So let's do that to Sarah as well. And it's the same with recording sales invoices or raising sales invoices. If you raise an invoice, then we have this class feature. Now, if any of this is not making sense, it could be that you need to learn the basics of QuickBooks Online. And I have a basics course all for free. Check out my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Let's assign this to Bob. And we'll just do one more. Let's do one more invoice. Yeah, if you don't know how to enter invoices, how to record expenses, then check out that basics course. Let's assign this to Canada. Okay, so once you have transactions assigned to classes, you can then start generating the reports. Now, if you go back to the gear cog icon, go to all lists, go to classes, there is this run report feature here that lots of people may use. If you want to see information by class, such as the transactions posted to Bob, then you can run the report and see the transactions posted to Bob's account. But really, what you want to do is go to reports down here, search for class, and then it will generate or create a list down here of the different class reports you can run. So you can see just the list of the classes, sales by class, purchases by class, and probably the most important report, profit and loss by class. So if I click on this, you'll then be able to see the sales and expenses and overall profitability or loss of each class. We have Bob, we have Canada, we have North, South, Sarah, it's all here, and then the total to the right. I have gone through this very quickly, but it is a basic feature, but a very useful feature on QuickBooks Online. If this video has been helpful, please like, please subscribe, leave a comment in the section below, even if it's to say thank you. It all really helps to support this channel. If you need to watch more content, if you need to learn the basics of QuickBooks Online, just head over to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, click on free stuff. All these courses are all for free. You can learn so much, but there is a QuickBooks section here. And on here, we have all sorts of free courses. There's no registration, no fee whatsoever. You just click on the, the course, the video that you want, and learn.